For installation of conduit before concrete is poured, mark the position of the boxes, cut the foam away, and insert the plastic boxes into the wall and spray foam them into position. Install conduit runs according to your electrical layout. Contact Quadlock regarding the specially designed PlastiLock ICF boxes shown here. Electrical wiring not already placed in conduit can be added after the concrete is poured. Mark the location of the electrical boxes, cut and remove the foam. Make sure to mechanically anchor the box to the concrete. Cut the chases for the wire deep enough to satisfy the code with an electric chainsaw or hot knife. Set the wire into the box and run it along the chase. Spot foam the wire in place at 3 foot intervals. Leave wire runs exposed for inspection. After inspection, you can fill the void with spray foam to retain the wall's optimum insulation value. Where permitted, plumbing can be treated in a similar way. Cut the foam away and fasten the pipe to the concrete. Plumbing chases can be created by using oversized plastic pipe as shown here. Wire the pipe into place and with a felt pen, mark the diameter of the pipe on the outside of the wall. Always make sure the foam is covered with the required thermal barrier. For attaching drywall, first note where the plastic flanges are. You can apply an adhesive if you choose, otherwise hold the drywall in place and fasten with drywall screws to the plastic ties or to quadlock FS panels which offer a continuous fastening strip. All other sheet or plank material can be mechanically fastened in a similar way. For heavy duty fastening, please refer to the product manual. For below grade walls, the management of subsurface groundwater is a critical element of a proper overall water management plan for any building. There are several ways to protect your walls from groundwater. One method is by applying one of the many approved peel and stick self adhesive waterproofing membranes. These membranes should be used if there is ever potential for soils to become saturated and to exert hydrostatic pressure on below grade walls. If recommended, prime the top one foot of the peel and stick and apply according to the manufacturer's installation instructions. Always protect the membrane against backfill materials. A second application of a dimpled drainage sheet will promote free drainage to the collection system installed at the bottom of the footing. If waterproofing is not necessary and only damp proofing is required, Quadlock still recommends that you install at least two feet of peel and stick at the bottom overlapping the footing. Proper perimeter drainage must be installed. Before backfilling you must test drainage and repair any damage done to it during construction. Cover exposed areas of basement walls with a one-step stucco or other compatible parging material. Most common exterior cladding systems are compatible with quadlock walls. Exterior finishes including, but not limited to, lap siding, metal, stone and brick can be screwed to the recessed plastic ties or to the plastic fastening strips in the quadlock FS panel. Local regulations may require a rain screen, which can be provided by fastening wood or metal strips to the exterior of the building. Cementitious or acrylic stucco can be applied directly to the quadlock panels and may qualify the building as a non-combustible structure. A list of approved stucco systems is provided in the product manual. Contact the quadlock technical department for additional assistance.